The year is 1931 and the inauguration of Florence's Giovanni Berta Stadium is underway. The newest symbol of Mussolini's fascist regime, designed in the shape of the letter D, specifically for the Duce. To open the stadium, Fiorentina are set to play Admira Vienna, in front of a crowd of 12,000 spectators. Included in the crowd are various members of Italy's fascist authorities, celebrating the opening of the regime's newest architectural masterpiece. As had become normality before such matches, the Italian side waved to the authorities with the Roman salute, the salute which had been commandeered by fascist regimes across the world. But looking at the photo closer, one man stands out. While the rest of the squad are raising their arms in salute, one man stands defiantly still, arms firmly by his side. That man is Bruno Neri, Italian international and one of the league's top players. And this courageous stand would not be his last against fascism. Born in Faenza in 1910, Bruno quickly established himself as a quality footballer. He made his debut at just 16 with his local team of Faenza and spent three years establishing himself as a quality fullback in Serie C. His performances with Faenza earned him a move to Fiorentina in 1929 for 10,000 lira, where he helped the team to promotion to Serie A in 1931. Outside of the pitch, Bruno was also developing his left-leaning ideals as he began socially mixing with writers, poets and artists. It was with Fiorentina that these left-leaning ideals would be demonstrated with his now famous stand against the fascist regime, which was ruling Italy at the time. While the remainder of his squad mates salute the regime, Bruno alone stands defiant, beginning his resistance to fascism. Despite his resistance, on the football pitch he continued to excel, earning himself three Italian caps under Vittorio Pozzo during the 1936-1937 season, the only international caps to his name. Bruno remained with Fiorentina until 1937 when he was attracted away by Hungarian coach Erno Erbstein to Lucchese, a man who was later forced to leave Italy due to Mussolini's race laws. At Lucchese, Bruno lasted only a single season before donning the maroon jersey of Torino, where he continued to excel up until the onset of war was becoming clear. In 1940, he made his final career move, returning to his hometown club Faenza as a player and coach. It was around this time that Bruno began mixing in truly anti-fascist circles. He came into contact with leading anti-fascist figures such as Giovanni Gronchi, who would later become the third president of the Italian Republic, and slowly Bruno's involvement with the anti-fascists increased. His cousin Virgilio Neri had established a resistance unit in the region of Faenza, and by 1943 Bruno was often engaged in resistance fighting. Serving under the name Bernie, he was quickly promoted to the rank of vice commander. But throughout his resistance activity Bruno continued his career as a footballer, his last match came in 1944 in the Campionato Alta Italia, in the regional leagues established by Mussolini and the occupying German forces. On the 7th of May, he played in a 3-1 home defeat to Bologna. A few days later, the city was bombed and the stadium destroyed. On the 10th of July 1944, Bruno was joined by fellow partisan Vittorio Belenghi on a scouting mission at Aremo di Gamogna in the Apennine Mountains. Their job was to scour the local area for his battalion allowing them to recover an allied supply drop vital to his resistance activities. While Bruno and Vittorio were searching the area, they were ambushed on their way by waiting German forces. Despite brave fighting, both Bruno and Vittorio fell to the Germans, bringing the end to a life which had stood so defiantly against the country he had represented and the regime which did so much damage to so many people. For many, Bruno Neri is not a household name, even in footballing circles. However, in the local area of Faenza, he is remembered to this day for the hero that he was. On the spot where he fell to the Germans is a memorial dedicated to himself in Vittorio, reading, Among these ancient stones, on the 10th of July 1944, commandos Bruno Neri and Vittorio Belenghi died when subjected to the brutal hatred of Nazi fury. Since the 11th of July 1946, Faenza have played their home games at the Stadio Bruno Neri in remembrance of their former player. The photograph of Bruno standing in defiance to the fascist ideology which ultimately cost him his life serves as a stirring reminder of his courage and integrity. Near his once home in Faenza stands a tombstone with the inscription, This is where Bruno Neri was born. A partisan commander who fell in combat in Gamogna on the 10th of July 1944, after having excelled as an athlete in sports competitions, who revealed in clandestine action, first in the war, magnificent virtues as a fighter and guide an example and a warning to future generations.